Hello, so if you've clicked on this video, it's probably for one or two things. You're looking to save a little bit of money or you're sick to death of hearing about inflation and you're wanting to cut back something. Essentially, whenever we're trying to save money for whatever reason, we always look at our food as a core because let's face it, it's one of the biggest spenders a family faces or anyone faces really other than your mortgage or your rent or you might have one or two big payments but essentially food is one of the biggest so if you've clicked on this video i'm going to show you how you can get a full week shot as a family of four for just 20 pounds or less you're probably thinking really what are you eating literally weetabix and rice for the whole week no i've got a fruity meal plan and if you want to have a look at what we eat as a family of four i've done so many food hauls mainly at aldi because it's cheaper and not just aldi has my heart so if you want to go check out those videos you're more than welcome to you will see that i'm not the most nutritious I'm not the most nutritious i'm not a big cook i'll be honest um if you've watched my videos you'll know that i'm just a mum trying to survive trying to feed my children nice comfort foods it's gonna fill their bellies and also give them joy because food gives me joy so yeah if you're into that type of content stick around but i'm not gonna rub it on and on and on and on and on i'm just gonna show you the proofs here in the receipt how you can get a week's food shop for just 20 pounds i will show you my haul at the end but if you want to know my secrets i'm here to spill them my name's chrissy i'm a member of two if you're new and if you're existing hi welcome back guys i hope you like this one it's a little bit different but the main reason this came to 20 pounds is because as a parent, as a mum, as a person, we will open our fridge, see that it's bare and automatically think that we need to go and do a food shop. I, for one, make this mistake all the time. I'll then go to the supermarket and I will just go down the aisles and pick whatever takes my fancy. There's no rhyme or rhythm or I'll do a really big list. I'll get my notepad out. I'll write a meal plan for seven days. I'll go to the supermarket and I'll pick everything to make all of those meals when really that's the biggest error that we make I myself so there's no judgment what we really need to be doing is not just opening our fridge but opening our freezer opening our pantry opening our cupboards opening our snack drawer opening the cupboards that you probably haven't been to in a while and going through absolutely everything because it's amazing what you will find at the back of that cupboard. So that is where I tend to start. I'll go through all my cupboards and I'll make a list of absolutely everything. This was me this morning thinking that my cupboards were bare. And I've now got a three page list of all different types of ingredients. And then what you do essentially is make a seven day meal plan based on the contents that you've already got. So stay with me here. So you'll do breakfast, lunch, dinner. I like to section my notepad like this. And then I'll make a meal plan and then I fill in the gaps with the supermarket. So it might be that you only have mozzarella cheese in your fridge so you've got to substitute that week for cheddar cheese or whatever cheese is there, cheese spread. It might be that you have to slightly adapt something or you might have run out of strawberries and your child might freak out but actually it might mean that they eat the oranges that are left in the fruit bowl that no one's touched for weeks. You'll be surprised. The same with snacks. Like, oh, my children are snack monsters and I do spend a fortune on snacks. But this week, it was surprising what I found at the bottom of the freezer. I've got three tubs of ice cream. I've got a cake mix. I've got, what else have I got? Ice lollies. I've got jelly sachets. Sachets, sachets. I've got so many things that I can make. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit more time, but it's not gonna cost me anything that week because I've already got it. So don't get me wrong, this meal plan, me spending 20 pounds a week isn't going to be realistic every single week however for those weeks where you want to run your cupboards down your freezers down um, we're going on holiday soon so i'm trying to cut back on my spending so i can pop it into other areas that i'm going to need to buy for my holiday um but one of the biggest questions that i get asked when i tell people that i'm shelf cooking is doesn't that mean that next week then you're gonna to have to bulk buy everything because you've used it all no, honestly, I don't bulk buy anything. Um, when I do see things on deal, obviously I do grab a couple. And when I buy my tins of beans, I always buy them in, in tins of four. I don't see the point in buying just one tin of beans. But it's surprising, my cupboards won't be completely bare. It doesn't mean that I've got to spend a lot more money the following week. It's just using up what I have, what I didn't realise I have. And yeah, that's it. So 
onto the meal plan of what I got today and I'll also show you what's in my cupboard. So as you can see from behind me, here's the food shopping that I got from Aldi and this came to 20 pounds and 18 pence, as you can see from the receipt. And yeah, it doesn't look like a lot. You're probably thinking, how are you gonna feed your children on just that? But yeah, let me tell you, I'll go through my meal plan of the week. It's not fancy. I've literally just wrote it down on a piece of paper. Um, but yeah, I just literally popped a meal plan on this piece of paper of what we're gonna have for breakfast, lunch, and dinners based on the food that I already have. And then I just picked up the bare essentials. So for breakfast, we've got things like pancakes, cereal, toast, omelettes, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, things like that. For lunch, obviously my daughter goes to preschool and has a packed lunch, and my eldest daughter has a hot school meal at lunch, so I don't need to cater for her as such. But I've got things like beans on toast, I've got a frozen paella that's in the freezer, tuna pasta, I've got the mug shots that you just had hot water to, toasties, sausage rolls, the ones that you cook from frozen, they're a really good staple to have in your freezer. And then for dinner on the meal plan this week, this is probably the one that you're probably most intrigued about. We've got things like pizza, homemade pizza, meatballs. I've got a picky tea where I've got a little bit of chicken nuggets in there. I've got some, um, I think it's like a crispy chili beef in the freezer. And we'll have that with like chips or potato pops. Whatever I find, I'll literally just cook it all in the, freeze in the oven. I've got a Nando's fake away, which is really, really simple. If you've asked for the recipe, so I might film like what I eat in a day and include that. It's a Nando's fake away, really easy, five ingredients. Tastes so yummy, and delicious. And I've got it all in the cupboard because it's spices, which you only use a minute amount. Got some frozen chicken fillets in the freezer. Yeah, and then I found some kebabs that we didn't use when we had a barbecue a few weeks ago that were in the freezer. It's amazing what you find in the freezer, especially right at the bottom. If you've got a chest freezer, which I have in the garage, they're always a nightmare for it and never really looks at the bottom. So it'll be surprising what you find in the bottom of that freezer. So yeah, I didn't really need to buy much. So, starting over here, I picked up some milk, some lacto-free milk for me, some dentist sticks for the dog needed some cheese because Lily just can't live without cheese um some jacket potatoes some biscuits probably didn't need these these are a little bit of an impulse some potato hoops which are a dupe of hula hoops for Lily's packed lunch me and Adam we just needed some shower gel so I picked us up some of that smart pure rate for the wraps wraps for the homemade pizza for example, you can just go through the bread cupboard. These are due to our update shortly. And you can just make pizza, which you can utilize what you already have in the fridge to use as toppings. For example, those little pepperamis that I've got in my fridge, a subscriber actually mentioned they're great to chop up and put on top of pizza. So that's what we'll be doing this week. Or if you've got leftover pepper, some vegetables, ham, of chicken whatever you've got lying around really you can just literally pop on top of a pizza it's really good to use things up and the kids really enjoy making homemade pizzas you can always use muffins as well or bagels whatever kind of bread that you've got lying around bananas never little hack it's cheaper to buy loose bananas than it is packaged bananas the same with potatoes you literally just pay for the packaging when you get it packaged some yogurts, some raisins for Lily's packed lunch. Because I've got so much ice cream in my freezer, I thought I'd grab these little ice cream cones as a little treat for the girls. And yeah, pitters, because we're gonna have them with, oh, I've got some kebabs in the freezer, so we're gonna have it with that. Some spout ketchup, bread and eggs. And that was literally it for 20 pounds. So yeah, I didn't create the term shelf cooking. It came from a fellow YouTuber called Jordan Page. If you haven't followed Jordan, pa Jordan Page or heard of her, I'll pop all her information in the description box down below. She's amazing. She's an American mum, I think of 10 children, might even be more. And she's all about how to save money, hacks, tips and tricks, how to work things on a budget. And I do love her technique from time to time. But when I've got things coming up, for example, Christmas is a good one. It's where I try and cut back on my food shopping and I'll do quite a lot of shelf cooking during those months. And also when I just want to save a little bit of money. And yeah, it does take me a little bit more time because let's be honest, we do grab those items that are a lot more convenient, that are already packaged for us. For example, bags of cheese that are already packaged. Some people buy like the fruit parts, but you can make them yourself. 
and it's surprising how much money you'll save it just takes that little bit more time and i understand not everyone's got that time um, and it is easier to buy the convenient stuff however it depends on what you're looking for the week this week i'm all about saving money so i'll make sure that i use my time wisely and i'll prep the night before and i'll make up the jellies and put them in the little pots and put them in the fridge but i completely understand as a busy mum myself that's not something that i would have time for every week but when i'm trying to do a food shop on a budget it makes me really excited and i don't really mind secondly my other point is food is going up dramatically at the moment as well as all of the other gas electricity interest rates mortgage rates etc etc in the uk if you're from the uk i'm not sure about the rest of the world but inflation is rising so i definitely am monitoring a little bit more what i'm spending in terms of if i can make a saving then why not so yeah, this is something if you're interested in, I will do more of these videos. If I bored you to death, I do apologise. But a couple of you have asked me if I'm going to make my weekly food shop hauls, a weekly thing. And um, I wasn't actually going to do a food shop this week. This is what I'm doing. So I thought, do you know what? Why, share, why not share it with a few of you? Even if it just helps one of you, then yeah, why not? Secondly, it's also good to look in those cupboards because you'll be surprised what's lurking at the back, especially at the back of the fridge. I opened my fridge today and there were so many yogurts that had gone off because I was just lazy and wasn't really looking in there. I was just throwing food in there from week to week. And there's also things in there that we haven't touched. Like I think there was a whole pack of crab sticks that Lola likes to snack on. Um, there was jellies that we haven't touched yet. There was yogurts that are just about to go out of date. Or there's some yogurts that even have gone out of date. So it's always good to have a little bit of a clear out. And you'll be surprised the amount of times I've gone to the supermarket and bought yogurts when I already have them. I hope you like this type of video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to, if you have any questions regarding shelf cooking, pop the questions in the comments box down below. And I'll also be really intrigued if you've tried this. Considering I normally spend about 100 to 130 pounds a week on food, I think I've done pretty well to do 20 pounds. And yeah, it's literally just using up what I have. So yeah, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, I would love for you to subscribe to part of the club. Also, if you do want to see what I'll be making this week via the shelf cooking, then pop over to my Instagram and I'll create a shelf cooking highlight just to show you what I've made using staple products mainly from my kitchen. Cupboards, pantry, freezer, fridge, etc, etc. Might give you a few ideas if you're trying to use up things that you already have and you're not sure what to do with it. And I will also include my really quick, easy pancake recipe. And I'm no cook. So if I can do it, you can do it. And things like my Nando's fake away, just to keep things exciting. Because we all know, if, I don't know about you, if my food's like really bland and really miserable, it makes me miserable. Like I've got to have something a bit nice in my life. So I understand that you could do a 20 week, 20 pounds food shop and buy everything without using anything in your cupboards. But I think after a while, it would get a little bit repetitive boring and then you're more likely to reach for the takeaway menu or run to the shop and splurge money on things that you do you get what i mean you know what i'm saying but yeah follow me over on instagram and i'll pop a little highlight of what we're eating over the next few days as and when and the highlight will grow and i hope it will give you a little bit of inspiration so yeah much love guys see ya